Look how good that looks. Cheers. Mmm. Hello lovers, I'm Chris. And I'm Brock, and welcome back to our kitchen. I mean channel. <laughs> <laughs> we have received so many requests for this, so we are officially cooking for you. Well, actually, Brock is yeah, cooking I'm for you today. Like cooking. So we teased this recipe a few times on Instagram. We are making spicy vodka pasta today, and this is a recipe that we've tried several times, and I think that I have the recipe almost perfected. So we're gonna start with cooking sausage, and then move into an onion sous vide, and then finally build out the spicy pasta sauce. Without Without further ado, welcome to Cook Show with Yummer Time! <laughs> We're gonna start with the mild Italian sausage. Obviously, you can skip this if you don't eat meat. We just get two cased sausages from the deli counter, and then we're going to uncase them. Is that a word? Uncase them, yeah. I just think it works. uncase. So now they're like so. I'm gonna put it on about medium high, and as I said before, just remove the casings. This is super easy to do. If you prefer to buy loose sausage, this is probably about uh, three fourths of a pound that we're working with. You didn't tell me you were serving peach with this meal. Mm. <laughs> Almost done for season. Yum. So I'm gonna turn the heat off, and I am going to put this on this plate lined with a paper towel to absorb some of that grease. Now that the sausage is cooked, we're gonna start the onion sous vide. We're gonna use one large onion. You could use yellow or white. And I'm just going to remove the outer layer. And I'm just gonna cut the onion in half. And really, I just want thin slices. No tears on the onions today, so we're gonna move on to the shallots. I really enjoy cooking with shallots because they're very similar to an onion, but they have a nice sweetness to them. This recipe, since it's like a little spicy, I think that the sweetness of the shallot really, really complements the Calabrian chili that we're gonna be using later. So these I'm just gonna cut in half. And then, I'm going to slice lengthwise. This, to me, is going to give them the most similar size and shape to the onions so that everything cooks pretty evenly. I have a tendency to go really onion heavy on this dish, but I like that. We like that. We like onions. Because we're gonna cook these down the sous vide and they're gonna lose a lot of their sharpness, right? Mm-hmm. Got it. Okay. Got it. We're gonna use this same pan that we used before. Not even gonna worry about cleaning it because we're gonna use that flavor in this and turn Turn it on to medium low and let these melt. Time for all these babies to go in. And I'm also going to add my half cup of water and just a pinch of salt right now. What we're looking for here is for these to become soft and translucent, but we don't want to fry them, so we have to keep an eye on them. Now that the onions are doing their thing, we're gonna move on to making the spicy sauce. So the main ingredient of this is going to be a 28 ounce can of San Marzano crushed tomatoes. Yum. <laughs> What's really gonna give this its kick is the chopped Calabrian peppers. Some heavy whipping cream. We're gonna use about a half cup of that. Another four tablespoons of butter. We like butter. We do like butter. <laughs> two tablespoons of sugar, and then a tablespoon of salt. We're using Malden. Get my sausage out of your mouth. Mmm, your sausage is good. <laughs> so these are looking really good, and they are nice and soft, and you can see that they're very transparent. Probably need a few more minutes, but in the meantime, I'm gonna start boiling the pasta water, especially since the pasta we're using, pakeri, takes a little bit longer to cook. All right, as I said before, we're gonna do this all in one pot. So I'm gonna add all the ingredients to the spicy sauce directly to this. But what we're gonna do is turn it up to high because we're gonna wanna bring those all to a boil. Ooh, that's like the first time I did that without spraying it everywhere. Now for the Calabrian chili. We like it spicy, so this is like kind of two big heaping tablespoons. Whew, that's gonna be good. Our sugar our salt, and then our butter. Just about a half cup. That's the color we like. Melty goodness. All right, and then I forgot to add olive oil. This is the perfect time to add about two tablespoons. We're gonna add some Parmesan rinds to this, which is really supposed to just add a good level of salt and flavor. And then we'll remove those, of course, later on. 
This recipe doesn't really have a ton of ingredients, but we're trying to build the depth with the flavors that we have. So obviously with vodka sauce, usually you would add vodka, and so this would be around the time you'd add it. We still haven't stocked up our bar yet since moving, so we don't even have that, but I think it'll still turn out okay. I mean, you don't necessarily need vodka for vodka pasta. Yeah, you could add gin. It's in spirit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Poison. Mmm, that is perfectly spicy. Ooh. Got it's got a good it. kick. <laughs> that is good. Oh, it's sweet and spicy. I'm gonna remove those and I'm gonna reduce the heat. And remember that yummy sausage that we cooked up earlier? Oh boy, do I. <laughs> that is going to be added now. So really at this stage, we're kind of reducing the sauce, which is thickening it. And what's great about pasta is if we lose too much of this moisture, we can add a little bit of pasta water later on. Boiling. That water is boiling. <laughs> so it's time to add our pasta, which is pancari. It is related to rigatoni, and it's a very large noodle. A little graceful, but YOLO. All right, so this is gonna take another like seven to 10 minutes roughly to cook. So we have plenty of time. You know, you always taught me a pot never boils if you watch it. <laughs> you mean watch pot never boils? <laughs> watch pot never boils. <laughs> this is our little boiling break. Boiling break. This is our little boiling break. <laughs> <laughs> Golden goo goo. <laughs> <laughs> You're so silly. <laughs> The water is boiling and the pasta is cooking, but it's taking more time than we would like. Cause we were watching the pot and it boiling. <laughs> hey, you're watching the pot. Don't look at me. <laughs> it's watching me. Can't keep me in the kitchen. No, 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 no. <laughs> Who are you? Where did I find you? <laughs> I don't know. The pound. <laughs> These babies are ready to come out of the bath. <laughs> All right, we're gonna turn this off and I'm gonna just add them directly to the sauce for two reasons. It makes life easy and it'll also probably take a little bit of pasta water with it, which will add some more moisture to the sauce, which since this has been reducing, will be really helpful. Wow, what a great little tip. And we have been loving cooking with these caraway pans for anyone who is interested in what we're using. We love caraway. That's we an do. honest, 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 honest testimonial. Testimonial. This is not sponsored. We love, love, love our caraway pans. Oh my gosh. Tuck the babies in for bedtime. Yeah, we're gonna fold them in. <laughs> There's a Schitt's Creek joke in here somewhere. Oh yeah, this is looking good. I feel like I'm always somewhat skeptical of the sauce because it's just against nothing. And then once you add the noodles, it's like, <sighs> I did it. <laughs> <laughs> you did do I it. I did it. Wow. Okay. It's looking phenom. Yeah, this is what we like. All right, time for it. Lunch, just a nice light lunch of pasta. So this is gonna be really delicious because we have a lot of textures going on. We have the onions, we have the sausage, and of course the pasta that took forever to cook. And then we're gonna add some ricotta, which is going to just add a nice fresh creaminess to it. It also gives a nice contrast, so it's visually appealing. We have basil. <laughs> so definitely not the lightest dish that we've ever made, but it is very delicious. Voila. Look how good that looks. You did such a good job. You know, the world is slowly but surely opening up, and if you are gathering with friends or family, this is a perfect meal to serve during those moments. I couldn't agree more, and the cleanup is very easy since most of it occurs in just two pots. It's just about time for us to eat, and I'm so hungry. Yes, so thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you for watching. I hope that if you try this recipe, that you let us know in the comments below. And if you have not subscribed already, please do that right now. Yes, thank you all. You can follow along on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, at Yummertime. And also the recipe will be in the description below. Love you all. We're gonna eat. <laughs> Cheers. Mm -hmm. You got a little sauce right there. <laughs>